So in this video, we are reviewing another handheld device sent by Litnix, but this time it's a PowKiddy device. Now I've never used one, let alone reviewed one. So sit back, relax, grab yourself a bottle of water and let's dive in. So yes, I apologize to all my British viewers because the American ones, they love the saying a bottle of water, but they like it when you say a bottle of water. I, I, I don't get it myself, but hey ho, let's keep everybody happy. So to start off with, we're going to get the boring bit out of the way. Litnix sent this device free of charge for review, but my opinions are my own and my own alone. And you know what that means. Yes, we're going to be giving away this PowKiddy V10 and spoiler alert, it's Atomic Purple. So it looks fantastic. So if you want to learn how to enter the giveaway, watch till the end of the video and I'll go through all the specifics then. So as you guys know, I love me a little unboxing. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to unbox this device. Then we're going to look at the specifications and what systems it can emulate. So let's not waste any more time. Let's do that now. So I'm really excited to review this PowKiddy V10 because I've done so many Ambonic devices recently. It'll just be really nice to get my hands on something different. So as you can see, it's marked as purple because yes, this is atomic purple. Now, of course, we've got the main device itself, but let's see what else you get. And yes, you get some instructions. Then you get the USB-A to USB-C cable. And as you can see, it's purple inside. I think that's a really nice touch. So let's have a look at the device itself. Now, when I first took it out, I thought it's actually a little bit bigger than I originally thought it was going to be, but it's not so big that it wouldn't fit in your pocket. Now the color of the Atomic Purple looks amazing and I think the camera is making it look a little bit more purpley than it is in person. Now if we look across the top we have a power button, a reset button and then two USB-C ports because one's an OTG and one is for charging the device. Now if we look at the bottom we can see that it's got an SD card slot and then a three and a half millimeter headphone jack. On the back, we've got the battery cover, the L1, L2, R2 and R1. And then on the front, we've got the D-pad with A, B, X, Y, start, select, and then we have a plus and minus button. So now we've done a quick tour of the device. Let's see what the specs are. So the software that it runs on is open source Linux. And in this case, it's Arc OS. Now the game's compatibility, they're saying it's going to run MAME, M64, PlayStation 1, CPS3, Neo Geo, Game Boy Advance, NES, Super NES, Mega Drive and Nintendo DS and obviously there's going to be a few others. This screen is a 3.5 inch IPS OCA full lamination with a resolution of 480 by 320 the CPU is a quad-core Cortex-A35 at 1.5 GHz and the GPU is the Mali-G31. It has 1 GB of DDR3L. For storage, it's using a micro SD card and they're saying it's 16 to 256 GB compatibility. The sound is a built-in single speaker at 1 watt. The power is coming from the lithium battery, which is 3000 milliamp hours, and the input is 5 volts at 2 amps. The maximum power consumption of this device is around 5 watts, which should give you a battery life of about 8 hours, and it should only take 2 hours to charge it. So as far as I.O. goes, we've got two USB-C ports. One is for DC fast charging, the other is OTG. We have the standard three and a half millimeter headphone jack and the size of the device is 103.2 by 94 by 22.5 millimeters and the highest button is 30.2 millimeters. So as I said before, this is running on Arc OS. So let's get it booted up and have a quick look. Now, one of the things I do like about Linux based systems is they do have quick boot times. 99% of the time, it's a lot quicker than the Android based ones. 
So as we've talked about before, it's running Arc OS and it's 2.0. And of course, we've got Emulation Station, which is fantastic. Now we're sitting on the home screen and I think it would be a cool idea to go through the systems that the device came with. So of course we've got favourites, we've got arcade classics, they've got CPS 1, 2 and 3. We've got MAME, Wonderswan Color, PC Engine, Family Computer, Super Famicom, we've got Game Boy, Game Boy Color and Game Boy Advance, Nintendo DS, Sega Mega Drive, Genesis, Game Gear, Neo Geo, Neo Geo Pocket Color and PlayStation. We've got some options and then of course the all games. So looking at the systems that you can emulate on this device, you might be thinking to yourself, that's not that impressive but it is impressive when you look at the price because it's about 54 dollars or for us in britain it's about 42 pounds so let's go over a couple of things that i really like about the pal kiddy v10 the first of course is that it comes in atomic purple it's one of the options that you can select when buying it and i highly recommend it it looks amazing but that being said, it's not to everyone's taste, as I've said before. So one of the main standout features of this handheld is that four by three aspect ratio. It's absolutely perfect for Nintendo DS games, Game Boy, etc. It looks really good. It's crisp, it's clear. It's one of the best devices that you can get at this price point. And the Arc OS operating system it's nice and smooth and it's got everything that you want crammed in there and of course having that emulation station stroke retro arc all those cores they're going to get regular updates and improvements and of course you can get themes for it and customize it the way you want so as i said at the start of this video i'm going to be running a giveaway on the atomic purple pal kiddy v10 and how you enter is there's a link in the description below for the alien gaming patreon you'll sign up for that and then you'll be able to join the secret discord over on that secret discord there's a channel called giveaways and then underneath that channel you're going to see pal kiddy v10 now we do loads of giveaways all the time and yesterday i actually gave away the ambonic rg40 xxh before that i gave away the ambonic rg35 xxsp and then of course we've got another two devices going up for grabs after we've done the giveaway for this pal kitty v10 so all you need to do is click the link in the description join the patreon make sure you've got your discord account linked to your patreon because the bot will then give you the patreon role and then you'll see those giveaway channels all you need to do is drop a random comment in one of the channels that you want to enter the giveaway for and that is it you are entered into the giveaway and to be honest with you i've never had more than 30 people enter into an individual giveaway so that's a one in 30 chance so the chances of you grabbing one of these devices are quite high a lot better than trying to win the lottery so i think i'm going to end this video here but as always if you enjoy my content don't forget to like the video smash the subscribe button and then give that bell a little tinkle so you don't miss any future uploads because we've got more handhelds to give away and review real soon i'm jp you've been watching alien gaming and as always i'll catch you in the next one